Hey, hey, welcome back everyone. Today we are unboxing a new pair from Antonio Meccariello. This is a made to order through the Argentum hand welted line. And let's jump right into the details. I normally will start with a overview, some details about the shoemaker themselves, but we've gone into a lot of detail in a video all by itself about Antonio. So I'll link that above here and you can check that out if you are interested. This is a pair of penny loafers. You've already seen them, but a little bit about the order and why I chose what I did. So the penny loafer or loafer in general is one of my favorite style shoes, but like many, I have really learned over time. As I got into nicer shoes, I realized that even more because the fit got better. My other shoes and the fit and my loafers kind of exacerbated that it wasn't a good fit. So as I developed that relationship with Antonio, we really kind of not dialed in the fit on the various lasts, particularly the Hawksbill last, and that's what this is. So this is a custom pattern, Argentum hand welted, made to order pair in Peccary with the hand patina by Antonio, which is the antiqued Noche color. And this is on the Hawksbill last, it is the stock last, no fitting adjustments. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's dive in here and take a look at this beautiful peccary skin. Now the bottom work on these is just exquisite as you can see here. He offers a lot of like marbleized and kind of like custom patinas for the sole. I wanted something that was really subtle patina to match the patina on the upper. Now looking at the overall pattern, like I said, this is a custom pattern. I love the Valerius Penny Loafer, which is that model that we're looking at. The loafer comes stock with a hand-stitched apron, which is beautiful, but I wanted something different. I wanted something unique. Antonio and I always kind of talk on a regular basis and talk about different patterns, different ideas, and we figured why not combine my love for the Centurion model, which is the pie crust split toe derby with the loafer and just keep it as an apron, like a classic penny loafer, and change that from a standard hand-stitched apron to the pie crust. Now, my initial thoughts looking at this, kind of doing the unboxing here, is they came out perfect. And I say that, and everyone's gonna say, oh, well, I'm sure there's issues here, or I see, looks like there's a little variation in the patina. Like, it came out perfect because this is exactly what I had envisioned exactly what I had communicated to Antonio and he executed the craftsmanship on these exactly how we had envisioned from the start. The color is a perfect kind of medium dark brown with that antique finishing and it's just a super versatile color. The fit, as I had mentioned, we had some apprehensions. We talked about doing some of the custom fits that I have on my other last from him but ultimately long story short it's usually the vamp that needs to be reduced but with my instep and the nature of penny loafers we decided to leave it as stock so that we didn't mess with that instep stock fit which works perfectly for me on the hawksbill and it's it's working out perfect so far just from that initial try on So some final thoughts, basically, I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. And I'm super excited that they're here and I'm gonna be wearing these a lot. This is something that you like. Antonio just posted this on his web shop. Um, let me know if you have questions, happy to help if I can. And we'll have another Antonio Meccariello unboxing in short order here that I created that idea with Antonio. Also has that project opened up to everyone else now on the web shop but you'll have to watch that next video to see which pair I'm talking about.